Hi everyone, this is Jennifer Rowan, Psychic, Medium, and Tarot Reader, and this is the monthly tarot reading for the air signs, which are Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And this month, we have Mercury going direct on November 4th. So if you have any contracts that need to be signed or large purchases such as electronics, homes, or even appliances, a good time to wait to do this is definitely after Mercury goes direct. However, waiting until about the 15th of the month is better when it is out of its shadow. Also, we have a new moon bringing new beginnings on November 5th. And Mars, which has been in retrograde, goes direct on November 13th. And you will find that your energy levels will start to get a little bit better in November. And also, your motivation level should start to increase, as many of us have been feeling this since Mars has been in retrograde. And lastly, we have a lunar eclipse in Gemini on November 30th. And eclipses can bring a lot of big changes into our lives. They can bring endings in our lives, such as jobs or relationships, but sometimes they can make positive changes. Maybe we're going to start a new business or something to that effect. But it will also be a time where our emotions will be heightened, we'll have new beginnings, and also, if we do have changes, it will give us the courage to try new things because anytime we try something new, we're not going to know how it works until we go ahead and work with it. And it might be something that is actually really good for you. Let's move on to the cards. As always, this is a general tarot reading. And you may find that some things resonate with you this month, while other things do not. But if you'd like to get your own reading in the future, where there will be areas that pertain more to your life, then you can contact me or find my information on my website at jenniferowanpsychicmedium.com. And I do many different types of readings. So again, you can find me there. And the information is also in the description box. And also, I want to mention that the lottery number for this month is 223. And let's move on to our reading and see what this month has in store for you. So the first card that we have is from the Chakra Healing deck. And this card says Inner Child. And with the Inner Child card, this basically says to me that this is a time that you need to connect with and having loving relationship with your inner child. There may have been times in childhood where you actually felt misunderstood. You may have felt that you weren't heard or unloved and your feelings were hurt. And we tend to take this into our adult life. So ask yourself, what is it that I need to heal? What is it that I need to work with? And to feel those feelings and to work through them. And once you do that, you'll be able to move forward with some things. Some people actually go get a massage or they get re Reiki healing or hypnotherapy to work with these types of things. But just remember to allow yourself to feel those feelings, to work with them and let them pass and things will go well. Also, have you been working too hard lately? This also indicates that this would be a good time to express your inner child by taking time out to play. It could be reading a book, having fun in some other way, and creating more joy in your life. You could do things such as painting, playing on a swing, dancing, or even riding a skateboard. Whatever it is that makes you have joy and makes you laugh, this is what you may need to do this month, especially with the past couple months going the way that they have been. And let's move on to the tarot cards for the month. And your first card, which is the overall energy for this month, or you may experience this month, is actually the Three of Swords card. And this shows me that you may be experiencing a time of sorrow 
or your feelings have been hurt over something. It could be disappointment or going through some type of heartache or loss. And this can bring on periods of grief, anxiety, or depression. This could be someone who has betrayed you as well. But whatever it is that has occurred, and even if this is a death, I have seen this come across and heard about someone else's passing. So whatever this is, get the support that you need to work through the situation or to deal with this loss. This may be a time that you wanna to talk to family or friends or even talk to a therapist or grief counselor to help you work through this. And let the emotions flow through you and then move forward with this. And in time, you will start to feel better. Now, as we get to the first week of the month, we have the star card. And this is a great card to have because this shows me that you will be going through some healing and your spirit guides and your loved ones in spirit can even help you through this. It's also a time to have hope and to have faith in the future. You may be healing from physical issues that you were going through as well. So if you were experiencing those lately, this shows me that you are going to be going through a much better period. And again, you're going to feel like you have more energy and feel that you're more motivated as well. And also, if this has to do with your work, this shows me that you're being guided in the right direction. This card can also bring abundance to you and also bring you more opportunities. And you can expect that your finances may and increase at this time. So what it looks like to me is that all is going to go well around the first week. And I feel like throughout the month, you may be seeing that also. And now we get to the second week of the month, and this shows me the strength card. And again, earlier in the month, we may have had a loss or some type of disappointment, and we may still be experiencing some of this. These things take time, and also it requires us to have patience to go through any difficult, challenging situation. And what this is showing me is that to give yourself the compassion that you need to get through these difficulties. Many times we are giving others compassion, but we forget about ourselves. So if some of you do go through this loss, be sure to be patient with yourself. Be sure to be loving and compassionate with yourself because this is exactly what you need and not a time to be giving as much to others. Spirit will be assisting you also in creating a positive outcome with whatever difficulty that you are experiencing. And also, this is what makes us a stronger person. Every time we go through an area of difficulties or loss, we find that it may be challenging at the time, but later on down the road, it helps us, whether it's to help us with someone else who is going through some type of loss or it just makes us stronger. So this is what I see for around the second week of the month. So for the third week of the month, we have the Knight of Pentacles. And with the Knight of Pentacles, this could be somebody that you're gonna be meeting that is an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And this can show me a couple things. This may be somebody that you're gonna be meeting in the near future, and this person is very stable, they're hardworking, they have a lot of security around them, and they're very trustworthy. Also, these may be aspects of yourself as well. Whoever this is, they are a very grounded person and they are very stable. Now, this also shows me that there may be some opportunities that are coming your way in the future as well that will bring you financial success. Now, the nights can be very slow moving, so you, can't, you need to have some patience. And also, this is a good time to take your time, especially if you're trying to build a business or you're 
setting out on reaching some type of new goal. We don't want to work through this quickly. We want to think about this in a very good paced manner so that we can reach the success that we need. This can also show me that there might be a happy event coming your way as well. And if it is an opportunity, I do feel like you may meet this with success, but also have patience because you may not get the information that you need until a later date. But whatever this is, this is very good. And the last card that we have is the temperance card. And with the temperance card, what this shows me is this might be a time or there may, may be a period this month where you actually need to have more focus and balance in your life. This also requires patience as well. You know, so whether it's patient with if you had a love relationship that didn't work out or maybe there was an opportunity that didn't work out or maybe you just need to have patience with yourself. This is just showing me that you need to work in this area this month to do things in moderation instead of going to extremes. And if you do this, you're actually going to find the right combinations of things to make you successful, whether it's in a relationship or a job. Also, this might mean that you need to have moderation, whether it's in your diet. Maybe somebody has a drinking problem and they need to slow down. But whatever it is, I feel that you will be working with it this month and you can meet success with that as well. And also, if you've been going through a lot of stress and anxiety, you know, meditation will help you. This will also help to create peace in your life during this time where you're feeling a little bit ungrounded or unbalanced. So this is what I have for you this month, Air Signs, and I want to thank you for joining me to watch my video this month. If you are new to this channel, I appreciate you stopping by to watch my video and feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And if you will hit that little notification bell, that will alert you whenever I have a new video that comes out. And feel free to comment on anything that was mentioned this month or anything that was helpful to you. Also, if you have been watching my channel for the past year, I do appreciate you sticking with me and watching my videos. And I will be creating more videos during the month of December. I have been having some computer problems here, so bear with me as I try to work through some of the issues that I've been having. And hopefully in the near future, that will all be resolved, especially after Mercury retrograde is over. So air signs, thank you again. I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving and a great month ahead. Take care and I'll see you soon.